Hi, my name is Gary Cooper and I'm here today to explain to you how to use our land-based water maker. So this little beauty down here is our land-based LB240. We'll make 240 litres of fresh water an hour out of the sea. Um, you can sit this on a dock or next to the ocean and suck the water out of the ocean and turn it into nice fresh drinking water. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got our high pressure pump here. We have to take out this red cap, which is the shipping cap, which stops oil coming out and we have to put in the breather cap, which is this yellow cap, which will be supplied with the unit. So we just unscrew the red cap and screw the yellow cap into here, like so. Okay, so in preparation for using the unit, we have to bleed the low pressure pump. This is the low pressure pump here. And this pump is a needs to be primed, so we can't use this without priming it. So we're going to take the low pressure hose, which has a foot valve on one end, which dips into the water, and the cam lock fitting on the other end. And we're going to bleed that by pouring water into that hose and filling it up with water. We want to get that hose filled right to the top and try and get all the air bubbles out of it. Once full, we bring it down to the pump and we just need to plug it into the front of the pump and flick those handles back and that's secure in the pump. We can then throw this into the water. The second thing we're going to do is bleed the actual pump. So we just need to take this little cap out of here and pour some water into this pump until we fill the pump up. There we go, nice and full. Put that cap back on. Okay, lock those caps on. Okay, so now that we've got the low pressure pump all bled and water through the pipe, next thing we need to do is hook up our brine overboard. So this brine, this, will, this hose will actually deliver all the concentrated salt back over into the ocean. So it has a half inch John Guest fitting in the end of the hose and that just plugs into the bottom here and pushes clicks up home. That hose then just gets run back over the side of the dock into the water. The next thing we'll do is hook up our product water hose. So our product water hose has a smaller 3 8 um, stem in there and that hose plugs into the back behind the flow gauge here and we just plug that, push that in, clip it in there. Now this hose will then run off into your water storage tank. This will be where the fresh water gets delivered to your storage tank. So we can plug the low pressure pump in. That will either be plugged into a generator or an outlet and turn that on. So now we've got that running, we can bleed these filters. So we have a 20 micron seawater filter and a 5 micron seawater filter here. And we just bleed the air out by pushing the button until you get nice water flow out. So both filters. Okay, so you can see that's nice and bled. We've now got water flowing through the unit, through the high pressure pump, and you should be able to see a little bit of water dribbling out the brine overboard hose. We can now start the high pressure pump. So we need to plug the high pressure pump into the generator or the outlet and turn that on. Now we've got the high pressure pump running. We should see a little bit more water flowing out the brine overboard. The next step is to wind up our pressure. 
So this is our needle valve. We wind up the pressure here, and we want to wind that pressure up until it gets to 800 psi, or very close to 800 psi. So when we get to 800 psi, you should have approximately four litres a minute coming out of there. So we wind this pressure up. Once you see the gauge start moving, just wind up slowly until you get to 800 psi. Once your pressure's here, we should start seeing about 4 litres a minute here on the gauge, and um, that means you'll be making about 240 litres of water per hour. Now we've actually got fresh water being made. And that's coming up. That bottom for the hose, which has been delivered to your tank. So that's nice, clean, fresh drinking water. Once you've paid all the water you need, you the tanker, we come back here and we slowly wind down this pressure. So we wind this gauge, we watch the pressure drop back down. Once that pressure gets to zero, we then just fully open that valve. And we can then shut down our high pressure pump. So we turn the high pressure pump off, and then we can turn our low pressure pump off. And now we've finished making the water. So the next step is to flush your membranes. So we need to flush the seawater out of the membranes after we've used it keep the membranes nice and fresh and clean. So to do that we just need to get a hose from a uh, tap. So we have a hose fitting on our filter. This just plugs straight into the charcoal filter here and we can just turn that tap on. And you will see that that starts flushing a bit of fresh water through here. It'll go through the seawater filters go through the high pressure pump, through the membrane, and we'll start flushing it out of our brine here, and that'll flush all the seawater out of the membranes, and we'll leave that running for approximately three minutes, so we make sure we get all the seawater out of the membranes, and then we can switch that off, and the water maker is then shut down and cleaned. So once the three minutes is up, we just turn the tap off, and Thank you for watching and we hope you get lots of fantastic use out of your land base in Stella.